Welcome back. Today I was going to play the next level of the Komodo bots that I've been going up through from the lowest ranking up until I lose. I noticed that Chess.com has some new bots and these are the limited time bots that are usually only there for a month or so. This time it says it's the Roman Empire bots and the first one is Hadrian, then there is Cleopatra, Caesar, Caligula, and Augustus. Now those last few are rated pretty high, but I'm going to start with the lowest one and just go as far as I can. If you're new to my channel, I'm not a titled player or a chess coach. I'm just a random person trying to get better at chess. And one of the ways that I do that is I play bots. Most of these lower rated bots are programmed to blunder fairly early, although they will play really well at other times. So the challenge, at least for me, is to be able to spot the blunders and take advantage of them and not make really egregious blunders on my own. So anyway, I'm going to choose this bot, let the computer choose the colors and click play. Got the black pieces. I almost always get the black pieces when I let the computer choose the colors. Okay, this is the ready opening, which I believe can transpose into a ton of other openings. I think D5 is what uh, I almost always play against this, but then the computer plays D5 and we're in a D5 opening. I wonder what will happen if I play C5. It says that's the Sicilian invitation. Oh, okay, so if they had played uh, E5, E4 here, then it would have been the Sicilian. Okay, well, I guess that makes sense. Looks like they're planning to Fianchetto, so I'm going to play D5 here, and guarding both of those center squares, they have put the bishop there, prepared to castle. I should probably also be preparing to castle, but I'm going to get this knight out first, and then I'm going to work on this side here. Let's see, let's go ahead and get the knight out to F6, and maybe I can take another center square. Okay, they have pushed that forward attacking my center pawn. If I defend it, they can trade off, and then they've got two center pawns left, and I don't. But if I push forward, is that okay? Let's try pushing and see how that works. And then if it trades for a pawn, it's going to be for one of their two center pawns. Okay, that king move I don't think is necessarily a blunder, but it is a bad move, or certainly not a good move, I think. But I believe the main downside of it is that it's wasting time. Rather than developing some of the other pieces, the king has just wasted a move. So I'm going to go ahead and play e5, which adds a layer of defense to my front pawn. It'll be protected by my knight, and then I can get the dark squared bishop out in castle. I think that's good. Okay, the queen has come over here to aim at this knight, which is defended, but it's pinned. It's now pinned, so they can take this pawn now if they want to. And then they'll have two pieces hitting this knight. Now I can defend that front pawn, but then they're still able to take this with check, and when I take back, they're going to be forking those pieces. So I think, I think what I need to do is unpin the knight by playing bishop to d2, I believe. Now not only is the knight defended twice, but the knight's not pinned, so it can defend the e-pawn. And then I can get the dark squared bishop out probably here in castle. Oh, they wasted a knight here. Okay, I think I can just take that with either one of these pawns. I'm not sure which one's best, but I'm going to take with the outside pawn because then I will still have two center pawns. Although that means they can advance this one, but if they do that, I'll just take the pawn with my bishop, I think. And now I'm going to castle, so my both my knight and my bishop are free to move when they need to. Queen has come one spot closer. I'm guessing what the bot meant to do instead of that was to put the knight here. So has this bot been programmed to do a misclick or a mouse slip? How can I, uh, I mean, I can challenge the queen immediately with this pawn, but I don't know what good that does. I can also just take the knight, because this is kind of a, a bad bishop right now, wouldn't you say? Or I could just move the knight and, and threaten the queen directly. Let's see. Oh, wait. No, maybe the queen did mean to do that, because now it's hitting my b pawn, which is not defended. Okay. Wow, I almost missed that. I need to defend my b pawn, I'm pretty sure. And, okay. And the bishop has taken the knight, so I'm just going to go ahead and take back, and I'm threatening the queen which I think needs... Oh, it, it was supposed to go all the way back, but it didn't. Oh, it couldn't because, because that was a check. I didn't even realize that was a check. I just thought I was taking back the bishop. All right, well, that works for me. And I guess I just moved the queen someplace. Where should I move the queen? Should I just go up here? Because I'm going to have to end up taking the bishop anyway. I don't know. They, they might not take the bishop, but I'm going to put my queen over here on e7, but I assume they're going to take my bishop next. No, they didn't. They just gave away the knight. Okay, I'll take it. And now I just have to win this game, which I'm way ahead. But, you know, my rooks are still back here. My two pieces are still back here. And they've got a... Looks like all eight pawns left. Okay, so what I have to do is find a way through that wall of pawns. I think putting my bishop over here on b4 will be a good idea because it can slide in here and be in front of their pawn wall. So let's try that. Uh, they, they have given away their bishop. All right, I'll take that too. And... They've given away the rook for the bishop, so I'll take that too. 
And then I, I still need to find a way through these ponds. What's the fastest way through the ponds? Should I go over here, which threatens the rook and also threatens their A-pawn? Let's try that. I assume they'll bring the rook over to guard the A-pawn. They did not. They gave away the rook. That's check. And I have found my way through the pawns, officially. Okay, this is a check. Like when the king moves out of check, I'll get this pawn, so check. It's not going to be a stalemate because they have a bunch of pawn moves left. But, but I have a protected check here. Let me just check there. The king will have to go back. And then, should I just advance this pawn and see what they do? Let me do that. Let's just advance that pawn, see if they, they have to go toward it, I think. Oh, they, they didn't. Okay. Well, then I'm going to promote to a knight. That's a check. And then this is a check, which gives up the knight, but saves my knight. I just promoted to a knight for fun to, uh, let's see, where do, where's our mate? We should have a mate here before too long. I, I think I need to get to F2. So to do that, I'm going to have to just bring my queen up one. Then no matter what they play, I'll be aiming for F2 and then aiming for D2, I think. They have to move a pawn because they can't move the king. So this is check. They, they have to move over and then I'll have mate here. All right, the bot helped me a little bit by uh, by just throwing away pieces. I'm going to guess that their main blunder was when they took my knight with their bishop, because when I took back, it was check, and I would also win the queen for the bishop. I didn't realize that at the time. I thought their blunder was not moving the queen, but I'm going to guess that's what that was. I only have one game review a day, so I'm not going to waste it here. I'm just going to save the game and then go to the analysis board. And I was incorrect. I was way ahead before they took the knight. Okay, I probably forgot. Oh, no, it was when they gave away the knight before that. Was that their, their blunder? Because, no, I was ahead before they gave away the knight for the pawn. All right, what was their blunder then? Let's back up and see when was the last time that we were even or that white was ahead. Okay, we were about even here, and it does look like d4 was my best move, which is what I played. And then, okay, the king move. The king move put me up minus one. Okay, I, I said I thought that was bad, but I wasn't sure how to punish, punish it. E5 was my best move here, okay? And that kept us very close to minus one, but then when the queen came out here, I'm at one and a quarter, bishop to d7 was my best move. Bot's best move was d3. And here it says I should have just played h6. Oh, because maybe they were going to come try to pin this knight. Or bishop to e7 now. So I brought the bishop too far, but I'm still at minus one. But then the bot gave away its knight, and I don't think I ever got any you know, worse off than this for the rest of the game. Minus four and a half, and then that, that wasn't good at all. Again, it says h6 is my best move, but castling is pretty close. Queen to b5 wasn't good at all. Oh, it says I should have just moved the knight now, and they would have just played bishop to d2. Oh wait, is the queen trapped if I, if I play here? Yes, because the knight would have been defending the pawn, the queen would have been defending the knight, the bishop would have been attacking the queen, which is also protected by the, my queen, and the queen couldn't have gotten away to any of the other squares. Okay, and my knight would have been guarding that square down there as well, and my bishop would have been hitting this entire diagonal. Okay, so I, I see knight to a5 now, I just wasn't sure about that, but queen to c7 put us back down to four and a half. And then the bot just gave away the game here. Okay, yeah, see, I didn't realize that was check. So that wasn't the blunder at all. The blunder or the mistake that put them behind for good was moving the king over and then giving away the knight, you know, I guess sealed the deal. Well, let's play the next one. All right, that one was rated 360, Hadrian. And the next one is Cleopatra, who is rated 940. So I will choose that bot. Again, I will let the computer choose the colors. And again, it's going to give me the black pieces. All right. Okay, now here we just have a normal d4 queen's pawn opening. I will try for the Nimzo Indian and see what happens. Okay, we I think we are going to get the Nimzo Indian if they put the knight on uh, c3. So I pin the knight and then I'm prepared to castle. I used to think that the queen was coming here to defend the knight, but I think the queen is moving there to keep my knight from moving in. Other people will play the bishop here to keep my knight from moving in. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and castle, and then if they move the A pawn, I'll take the knight. Oh, they didn't move the A pawn, but they are coming from my knight, which they're probably going to pin first, so I, you know, I wouldn't want to move it once that pawn moves forward. Should I give away the bishop now, or should I bring this bishop back to d7? e7, sorry. I'm going to bring the bishop back to e7, so the knight, uh, if they try to pin it, yeah. Well, they didn't try to pin it. If they had tried to pin it, I could move it. But now I'm going to move it anyway, which I guess move it back here. It looks like I might be in trouble. And they're going to fee in Keto, so let's get my D-pawn going here. Oh, they, they've moved the H-pawn. And it is twice defended, so I probably shouldn't give away the bishop for that. Uh, but let's take one of their center pawns. And then I think I can play this pawn and get my bishop and or knight out. 
I think they may be meant to go one further there. I'm not sure. Just defending this pawn for no good reason? Okay, I'm going to get my knight out, maybe coming here. Yeah, let's just go ahead and put the knight there for now. I'm not sure what that move did. That might be the wasted move that gives me a chance. I don't know. Maybe they had something better. Or maybe that's a good move. I really have no idea. But I'm going to play b6 so I can get my light squared bishop off the back rank and also so I have a place to hide my knight if they come after it with the pawn like they just did. Okay, I'm going to... Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to put the knight on a6. If they push the pawn... I was going to say if they push the pawn again, then I can just go back where I was or take it. But they've just moved their king over one. I'm going to guess they're about to pull this rook in, so I have to be really careful. Let's get the bishop up there so that pawn's defended, and I can move my queen if they do pull the rook over. They did not pull the rook over. I just realized that pawn is undefended. Should I take it? Should I take it with my bishop or with my knight, though, is the question. Both would have safe places to retreat to. Let's let's take it with the bishop. And they did bring their knight o I mean, their rook over to attack my queen. I'm just going to slide it up one, and I think it's going to be safe here on c7. At least for the time being. I am aiming at that undefended pawn as well. Should I just take it? Oh, I just realized if I had taken that pawn with my knight, it would have been attacking the queen. Okay, sh should I take this undefended pawn? Would they have any sort of discovery after I did that? I don't think so. I mean, they could attack my queen, but if they did, I would just go down and get the knight, which is guarded there. Yeah, I'm going to take their e-pawn as well. A and they've just pushed that pawn. Can just take it uh, multiple ways here. I mean, I could take it with my pawn, but I don't think I want to. I think I want to take it with the piece. Not my queen, though. Not that. I could also just take the knight now. I think the knight is free now. But then that lets them do this? No, because their queen's undefended. Okay, let me take the knight and see if they want the queen trade. I don't think they do. Oh, they did. Okay. Now is this pawn going to go here? No. Oh, I, I, guess the, I guess the rook was in danger. All right. Well, I guess I'll pull the bishop back here and see if now they want to take with the pawn. They took my knight. All right, well, I'll take back. Should I take the pawn? Maybe not. Although it is keeping my knight from coming out. Or I could just move this pawn up and lock that one, leave that pawn sitting. Let's get the knight out. I want my rooks connected. If they take here, I'm okay, I think. I know I lost a pawn out of that deal, assuming they take back, which they did. Put the rook on the open file here, and then I would like my other rook on an open file, but they wanted to do that. That was pretty good, I'm thinking, because now whenever I move the rook, they can take this pawn with theirs, even if I put the rook up here. So should I, now that they're threatening my rook, should I threaten their rook also, one, one of these two ways? Let's do that. Let's threaten their rook and see where they go. I mean, I could threaten their rook again. Let's threaten their rook again, see where it goes. Okay, it took the pawn, and now it's threatening this bishop. Wow, I'm, I am messing up in this game. I really feel that. But I should be able to pin the bishop, right? Nah, well then if they take mine, I take theirs, and I'm still up a few points of material. Okay, I'm okay with that. Alright, let's double up my rooks here so I don't have to worry about them coming down at some point. And then I'm not going to check them just yet because of where their knight is. So I think I need to bring my knight somehow, maybe here? Let's try that. Okay, see if they want to trade off the knights, which I can take a number of different ways. Okay, they did that way. I think I'll take with the rook. And now I am threatening to come down. Let's check. See which way they go out. Oh, they came out forward. All right, I have to be careful about getting back ranked here, so let's keep that in mind. I don't want to just start randomly checking. Let's give myself an out here so I don't have to worry about being back ranked. They've come for this pawn. Now I can check them with one or the other of the rooks. Let's check them with this one, see which way they go. I also assume that uh, if this was a human opponent that they're kind of counting on this passed pawn, so I'm going to keep an eye on that. I would also like to threaten their rook just to make it move, but then I have a feeling it would just check me. But I would like to give myself two different ways out, so I'm going to play that and then I will threaten the rook. Oh, it just went ahead and came out anyway. Okay. Alright, so now I'm, I was going to say safe with the, uh, with the king, but not quite. Because now I either have to go back or come forward, and if I come forward they can check me again. But I can block with the rook if they do that. So let's come forward. Oh, I just gave away that pawn. Wow. Well, that's what I was talking about, that even though the bots do blunder once in a while, they occasionally make really good moves. I think I only have one legal move here. Should I check there? That just makes the bot go this way. Or should I move my king and then maybe threaten the rook like that? Yeah, I don't want to block my bishop's path to that rook. I'm just going to move my king, see where they go. Okay, they, they've moved the rook. All right. 
Well, let's go ahead and check them and win that other rook, which will make it harder for them to beat me. Oh, that, that didn't work out at all, did it? Oh, although I can win the other rook now. Why don't I just take the other rook now? I wanted to win it for the bishop, but I'm not going to get to... Oh, they they got both of them. Wow. I, I'm really bad at chess, and I'm going to lose to a 940 rated bot. Looks like. What do I need to do here? I, I need to advance a pawn, but can I? That's the question. And I need to stop their pawn. Let's check. See where they go. They can't come forward over here. They went that way. Okay. I'm going to advance this pawn. If they check me, I'll get in here, I guess. They didn't. They're going to advance their pawn. Okay. Well, then I'm going to get behind it. They're going to check me. Should I come toward them? Okay. That gives me this pawn. And now I'm only had one point of material. Let me get behind that pawn, which I assume they have to get in front of now. Okay. And bring my king again. And I'm going this way. Trying to pick off their G-pawn, which they can protect with their king, but they didn't. So I'm going to take it. And then I'm going to take the other one. Nope. No, I'm not. Oh, wait. Yes, I am. I'm going to take it with my rook. And see if they want to trade there. They didn't. Okay. Well, very nice. Prepare to trade off rooks here. If they move their king, I'll be in check. And then I'll move my king. They didn't. I'm going to move my king anyway. Protecting the pawn, putting them in check. And move this forward. And see what the bot does. Okay, it's going around. I, I would be happy to trade rooks for it here, but um, instead I'm going to push my king forward. They come after the rook, which is defended. Let's go over here where it's still defended and is defending that pawn. Oh, they've... What have they done? Let's see. Well, let's advance this pawn then. Advance my king. Advance the pawn. And they checked me, so I'm going to get out of check and then promote. Yes, I'm going to promote for their rook, so I'll just promote to a rook. I assume they're going to take it. Oh, they didn't. Oh, all right. Well, let's see if they want to take now. They still didn't want to take. <laughs> all right. Well, I thought for sure that they would. Well, let's put my king here and try for a checkmate here pretty quick. Or trade off the rooks again. They did not want to trade off rooks. Okay. Check. And uh, maybe go down here and we can check this way. See what they do. They're going to check me again. I'm going to get out of check. And then this should not be mate. Nope. See, it was mate when my king was there, but it's not there anymore. So let's check here. Check here. I assume they're going to go there. Yes, they did. Okay. I'm going to go all the way over here, preparing a back rank mate. Is their king going to move again? It did. All right. Then I'm going to go all the way over here, preparing a back rank mate. I assume they're going to check me. I'm going to get out of check. And I can't back rank mate right now because of where their rook is. Well, this bot is definitely a good example of the bots that make ridiculous blunders sometimes, but then play unexpectedly good moves. Yeah. And I'm having trouble with it. I can just come up one though, can't I? If I just bring this rook up, now I'm threatening mate over there. So let's try that. I assume they're going to check me again. I'll come toward them. See where they go. They give away the rook. Wait, do they have a legal move if I take the rook? I need to know. Yes, they do have multiple legal moves. All right, doesn't matter where they go, this is checkmate. Well, I had a lot more trouble with that bot than I should have since it's rated 940. I'm going to click save game. And again, I'm not going to use a game review on this because I only have one a day. And now that I think about it, I think I already used it this morning on a daily game. So I couldn't use it anyway. I'm going to go to the analysis board. All right, apparently here I blundered. The game would have been even if I had just played d5. I did not think that to be true at all because then they would have played e5. But then I could have put the knight up there protected by my pawn. And it says they wouldn't have... Oh, they couldn't take it because... Oh, okay. All right, then what if they had just taken? Then I would have taken... Wow. Okay, well, this is another good example of... I've mentioned several times that d4 openings I'm really bad against. I keep thinking that I'm going to play the Dutch against it one of these days, but I keep forgetting and I keep putting my knight out there, which means you can't play the Dutch. But I had to play d5 here to keep it even, but instead when I brought the bishop back, it's suddenly plus one and a half in the bot's favor. And they have to play e5, they did, and I have to put the knight, okay, e8 was good. And the bot should have just started developing pieces at this point, but instead it pushed a pawn, so we're almost back to even now. But I need to play c5 or d5, or put my knight in front of the pawns, which seems like a really bad idea. But instead, I just played a little weak move here, and they should have gotten their other knight out, but they played h4. See, when they played h4, I thought that was a bot move. I thought that was a computer move that, you know, has me in trouble. But now if I play c5, I'm ahead. And it says they would have taken here on, on my d-pawn, but I, I don't know. They might have taken over there. But I took that pawn instead, so now the bot's way ahead again. 
I took back and I had to play, I had to put my knight in front of the pawn again. Well, I don't understand that at all because then I wouldn't be able to move the pawn. So I moved the pawn first, but now the bot's even further ahead. It played bishop to f4. Okay, see, that was its best move, according to Stockfish. I wondered why it didn't go here, thinking about trying to trade off this way and opening up the rook coming down for my king because their rook and their queen would both be pointed right here at h7. So I, I certainly thought that bishop to g5 was their best move here, but the engine says that's the best move. And I have to play f5. Well, I wasn't going to play f5 because the last, I don't know, eight or ten times I played f5, it was a blunder. And each of those times, I thought it was a good move. So even if I had considered it here, which I didn't, I probably wouldn't have played it because I would have thought it was a blunder like all those other times I played it. So now the bot's up plus two. And it should have gotten that other knight out to f3, but instead it got that out. Again, it wants me to play my f pawn or put my queen over here for some reason. So I got the knight out. The bot's up two and a half. Again, should have gotten the knight out. Or played rook to d1, which I was expecting at some point, but it moved that rook up for no reason whatsoever, but it's still ahead. I need to play b5, or f6, or f5. Any of those moves would have been awesome, according to Stockfish, but I played the b pawn partway, thinking to go here, but now the bot needs to play rook to d1. It did not. It ran way over there, challenging my knight. I should have come back this way. Back to, wait, I was going to say where it was, but was it there? Yeah, it was there, wasn't it? That's where I just moved it from. That was the worst of the moves that saves the knight, but it did save the knight, and they moved their king over. Okay, that's the first time in the game that I was ahead. Wow. And it's because that pawn was free. I did not see that pawn yet. I was still thinking about developing, so I developed my bishop, and now the bot's way ahead again if it plays a3, but it did not. And that's where I noticed that this pawn was hanging, but I took it with the wrong piece. Should have taken it with the knight. Taking it with the bishop puts the bot slightly ahead again, but we're close to even. Rook to d1 was the best move, and I should have gone to e7, but I went to c7 because apparently I am horrible at chess. I mean, this allowed me to aim at that pawn, although it doesn't say I would ever take it. None of those lines include me taking their undefended e-pawn. Again, they should have gotten the knight out to f3, but they just moved that rook over for no reason, and now it is my best move to take the e-pawn. Okay, what if they had, oh, if they had played their best move, the e-pawn would have been defended. So that allowed me to take the e-pawn, and was I ahead after this forever, or did I mess up again? I did mess up again. I went through these, and I was ahead minus 5 or minus 6 or better the whole way up until right here when I had a mate in 12 if I had just checked first. And it says if I had checked, the king would have gone back, but I thought the king was going to go over here, and then what would I have done? And this is where I made the mistake of taking their rook, and we were back to even. And the problem is I made that move quickly because I was starting to get exhausted and realizing I was messing up or thought I was messing up, but they were able to take this with check and then get my rook. So they were able to get both of these pieces and now it's dead even. It's a draw. I wasn't sure if it was or not, but, um, but anyway, so we're even. I don't know where I went back ahead. We're about to find out. All right, it was right there when the when the bot moved over here. What should it have done? It should have brought the king. No, it can't go there. It should have brought the king to g3 or h3. Those are the only two moves that keep us even. And the next best move is king to f2, which puts me well ahead. But instead, the bot just moved its rook over, and that allows me to take this pawn. Allows me to come up to h4. Allows me to go to f4. And I took the pawn. Okay, so was I ahead for the rest of the way after this? Really, just taking that one pawn. But yeah, we were drawn for quite a few moves until that point, and I'm guessing that I was ahead the rest of the way. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to go through. I'm watching the numbers. I kind of remember what we played here for the most part. Minus 40, minus 42, minus 43. Made in 25. Was it E2? Okay. And they checked. I went forward. They went down there. Oh, it says I should have promoted to a queen. Uh, I thought they were just going to take it, so it didn't matter. And it definitely says they would have taken it. But since I promoted to a rook, they should not have taken it. So the bot did the right thing there. I, I was surprised by that. I thought the bot was going to trade off for it, but it didn't. I blocked. And they got out of danger. Okay. I should have played rook to f5 here. Or rook to e1. Okay, rook to e1 would have been coming around that way, I guess. All right. Well, I had made in 16, and it looks like I had about 13 more moves to go. So we did okay. But I don't know if I made a major blunder at any point after this or a big miss. Like, did it give me a mate in one that I missed? Whoop. Hang on, there's a mate in, it said mate in three. Was rook to e3 my best? Yes, rook to e3 was my best move because it forced the king over there. And then I should have played rook to e2 check, which would have forced the king back. And then I had mate. Okay, so I did miss this. I had a mate in two right here. Okay, so this should be a puzzle. I have multiple checks. 
like rook on d2, which is what I played, but that's a maiden 9. Rook to e2. My king is cutting off all these squares. The rooks would be cutting off all of those squares, but leave only one legal move, and that's made over in the corner. Wow. Okay. Some of you probably saw that, so we went the long way around, but I still have a mating sequence. It's, you know, not going to be very long, I don't think. Rook A to A2. Okay, that's my best move, and it is what I played, and it was their best move to check me, and it looks like it doesn't matter where I put my king. It's still made in three, and it's made in two. De looks like it doesn't really matter what they do, so they went there, and I am supposed to take it. Okay. Yeah, now it doesn't matter what they play. I had a mate. All right. I was going to go ahead and play the next one, but that one was so exhausting, and I'm past 30 minutes on my end, nearly at 40 minutes, according to my timer, not counting where I paused the video and went through this analysis to see where my next blunder was. I do appreciate you being here. Let me know if you've played these bots and how it went, and I'll see you next time. Today, when I sat down... I'm going to guess that the, uh, and that kept us very close. And then the bot gave away its night. And I don't think I was ever very, but the, yeah, that just, uh, adds. Okay. I think so. All right. Then. Hmm. I'm not sure. All right. Well, um, I guess so. Okay. All right. Hmm. Okay. 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 I keep remind, but I. <laughs>